What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. All right, this time I am going to give you some more news. Uh, I just recently uploaded a video about the Final Fantasy XII remaster, and I'm going to give you a little bit more news. And this deals with delays. Uh, this year has seen a, a lot of delays. Actually, um, they just delayed No Man's Sky. They just delayed uh, Horizon earlier this morning, and then Lucalele just got delayed. Uh, the game that's going to be made by the rare, the the old Rare team who made the old Banjo Kazooie games, Donkey Kong 64 and Conker's Bad Fur Day, and uh, the old older Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, that team, if you didn't know, they're making a game. They got together uh, and made a game because, of course, they can't you know you really do anything with their old IPs because Rare is owned by Microsoft. So they eventually left, and now they're making their new game. And it's uh. A Kickstarter, just in case you didn't know, I'm just gonna kind of fill you in a little bit on it. Um, but yeah, they, they're making this new game, Luca Lady, supposed to be a little bit uh, closer to how the old collect. I think I, I, I believe they're like collectathons, those old collectathon games, which apparently people don't like or whatever. But they were really fun when you when I was younger, and you know, but yeah, that just recently got delayed. They just made an announcement uh, to 2017. It was gonna come out sometime this year. I'm not sure if there's an exact release date. Or if it was just like a month or, you know, a, 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 a period of time. But yeah, it's delayed. And honestly, I cannot even think of a reason why that would be a bad thing. Uh, delays are very important uh, because basically it's kind of indicating to us that the developers found some kind of bug or something that would kind of throw the entire process of creating the game off. Or, you know, they just realize, oh, we can actually make this better. Let's put some more polish into it. Uh, that's pretty much what delays mean. Uh, they found something, and they're going to fix it. Or they just want to make it even better than what it could have been. So, yeah, there's really no problem with delays. Uh, people made a big deal about No Man's Sky getting it later. A month ago, the developers even got death threats. Even the guy who wrote the article, the the, the first article from K Kotaku, uh Talking about delay, he even got death threats. People were just like, I'm going to come to your house and kill you. And they were legit threats. Um, they weren't just like trolling or anything like that. They were legit, it turns out. Um, so it's just weird to me how people like assume that this is just a bad thing. People will automatically say, oh, delay, that, that's bad. We got to have these games out. When you, when, when you get, when you get uh, a release date announced, you, you have to follow that guideline. You cannot uh, deter or you know go off and you know have it a week back and so honestly it's, this is just a really good thing um because honestly 2016 would have been pretty pretty uh difficult to really play a lot of these games that are coming out because i know myself personally there's going to be a lot of really long games that are uh you know i'll put at least a hundred or at least like 80 to 100 hours in each of them which are the games that i definitely want that i know are going to uh, give me a lot of content are you know Star Ocean, Persona 5, and No Man's Sky and Final Fantasy 15. Just four games right there that are coming in a pretty, you know, they're coming like right out, you know, just a month apart from each other. So they're going to be really long. I'm definitely not going to spend just the month playing them and, you know, beating them and then being done with them. Um, I'm going to, you know, keep playing them for, you know, the next few months after they release. So it was good. And, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn got delayed to 2017 as well. Um, so, you know, that would have been another potentially long game. And who knows how long Luke Lately will be. And then, uh, No Man's Sky was going to release, I believe, a week before Star Ocean. And then that would have been kind of difficult for me because I would have played one game, you know, go to work and stuff and, like, not really be able to put a lot of time into No Man's Sky as I would want to. And then just... You know, get another game the next week, and then oh, now I have to play this one. I have to try to balance myself because I'm not one. I'm not the type of person who likes to play um, games just one game at a time and then move on to the next one. I don't like doing that. I when I buy a new game, I feel like I have to play it and you know get into it right away, and then try to balance myself in between all my games. That's kind of how I play. But yeah, it got delayed. No matter I got delayed a month, so they found something that they you know they decided all right we can make this better so i think what it is is that uncharted got delayed like two weeks before it was released and uh i think and then it also got delayed like i believe an entire few months like it would have been out in 2015 but they decided 2016 uh, would have been better 
and then I believe it even got delayed again after that uh, till the end of uh, April but then they decided all right no uh, May is better the beginning of May is better so I think you know that kind of show developers all right you know we can delay games and it's not going to be a problem because you know you, these delays are important. I, I believe that's one thing that Uncharted 3 kind of suffered from. They gave a release date, and it was just they just stuck with it, and they didn't uh, they didn't try to you know go back. And then if you look at Uncharted 3, it wasn't really uh, as good as it could have been. They could have been a lot more. There could have been more put into it, but they didn't uh, delay it and you know try that. But then now recently. We've had a lot of games that have had bugs, you know, this gen this new console generation. And even PC games have suffered from it a bit because they don't put more time into them. They decide, all right, we're going to release all these games at the same time uh, and not even put any kind of a, a potential delay on them. They just stick with it, and then that's why Batman Arkham Knight, I believe, had issues with the PC release and a, a recent game. And then that whole deal with, I, I think it was Assassin's Creed, uh, what was it? I forget what for which one it was, but it has just major bugs in it that graphical glitches and all that stuff. And then um yeah, now and then I think a few other games, Division probably could have been delayed. I think it was delayed, but you know, games have just not they just been sticking to the release date and releasing them and now I think developers are realizing we need to to delay these games if we find a problem cuz we got to make a perfect uh game on release date because people get mad when they buy a game day one and it's broken or has missing content or if it's just not up to the standard of a $60 game quality standards but yeah hopefully this is a new trend that's going to start happening we'll be expecting more delays you know and developers won't give a specific release date they'll just say uh, you know it might be out in March but then say oh no it's going to be out in May instead That'll be pretty cool. I hope that happens. I hope that's going to be the new trend from now on. And then pass on games to the next year. There's no problem with it. I I look forward to that. I, I mean, I don't because I do want to play these games, but I do uh, look forward to developers doing that because it tells me that, okay, they want to make a better game. They want it to be better than it could be. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. Luke Lady's delayed. No Man's Sky got delayed. And. Uh, which No Man's Sky is still coming out the year, this year, but Horizon Zero Dawn also got delayed to 2017. So those are games that were going to come out this year, but now are going to be moved on. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Let me know what you think about these delays. I'm happy about it. Are you or what? <laughs> Instead, that'll be pretty cool. I, I hope that happens. I hope that's going to be the new trend from now on. And then pass on games to the next year. There's no problem with it. I I look forward to that. I, I mean, I don't because I do want to play these games, but I do uh, look forward to developers doing that because it tells me that, okay, they want to make a better game. They want it to be better than it could be. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. Luke Lady's delayed. No Man's Sky got delayed, and uh, which No Man's Sky is still coming out the year, this year, but Horizon Zero Dawn also got delayed to 2017. So, those are games that were going to come out this year, but now are going to be moved on. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Let me know what you think about these delays. I'm happy about it. Are you or what? Delays. I'm happy about it. Are you or what?